known for starting on time, but we're close to starting on time today. I want to thank you all for coming. This is the Rouge Forum at AERA, which is uh, a bit of a ironic situation. Um, my name is Wayne Ross, and I teach at the University of British Columbia and part of the Institute for Critical Education Studies, which is co-sponsoring today's meeting along with the Rouge Forum. I want to welcome you to Vancouver, um, University of British Columbia, the Robson Square campus. Vancouver and UBC are located on unceded First Nations land. And we want to acknowledge that. The, uh, <clears throat> as you visit, if you're here visiting Vancouver, always keep that in mind, that um, you're, <clears throat> even if you're Canadian, you're in foreign territory. I also want to acknowledge the fact that the uh, Rouge Forum is uh, at ARA is being held in HSBC Hall. I'm sure you all know HSBC, one of the largest banking corporations in the world. <laughs> Another uh, ironic situation is it's akin to uh, the days at the National Council for the Social Studies when the uh, Rouge Forum demanded to be located on in the exhibits on what was called Economics Alley. <laughs> <laughs> The Rouge Forum is, has been in existence since uh, about 1998, and we've had meetings uh, all across uh, North America, uh, some one-day conferences like this, other multiple-day conferences, and I want to uh, <clears throat> point you to the Rouge Forum website, rougeforum.org. Uh, you can get a history there, we're on Wikipedia. You can find out us about, about us there. In your um, flyers that are there, <clears throat> to take special notice of a flyer about the Rouge Farm 2012, which is going to happen. Your flyer says June 21 to 24th, but it's actually June 22 to 24th. It's going to be at Miami University, um, not the one in Florida, but the one in Oxford, Ohio. And um, it's very close to Richmond, Indiana, so if you're looking for an RV, it's the best place in America to buy an RV, so you can pick up an RV while you're at the Rouge Forum. Um, Dennis Carlson is, um, and the folks there at Miami are hosting, hosting us this year. We're very excited to be there. Um, you can still, if you're interested in participating, the Rouge Forum conferences are participatory, but we also have, we have speakers. If you've got a workshop, we have cultural events, um, and you can, You'll see that I've edited the uh, call for proposals. We were due on tax day, the 15th, but I've arbitrarily extended that to May 1st. So if, uh, if you go to rougeforumconference.org, or if you want to scan the, the QR code or go to the tiny URL that's on the flyer, you can find out all the information about that. Um, a couple of other things I want to <clears throat> call your attention to. Um, the Institute for Critical Education Studies sponsors two journals, um, Critical Education, which you can find at criticaleducation.org, and the Workplace a Journal uh, for Academic Labor. And in your uh, flyers there, you'll see that there are handouts of uh, call for proposals about some special issues of workplace that are coming up. One on academic mobbing, and the other on graduate studies in the academic labor market. Uh, Steve Petrina and I are, are uh, editing the academic mobbing um, issue. Brad Porfilio is one of the editors of the Grad Students and Academic Labor Market. We're uh, soliciting manuscripts. If you would like to submit uh, a proposal for a theme section of, of workplace, there's also instructions on the slide for that too. <clears throat> so with that kind of administri administrative out of the way, I want to uh, give a brief overview of how, how we're going to operate today. We have, uh, we've had a couple of, of changes in the program, some, uh, most of them, uh, all related to people. Turn off your cell phone so you don't <laughs> The, um, <clears throat> uh, related to uh, circumstances beyond people's control. Um, Antonia Darter was scheduled to be here today, but she's not going to be able to be in town until tomorrow, I understand. And I'll talk a little bit more about this uh, in, a, in, in a few minutes, but Abraham de Leon, who's scheduled to be on this panel, was not allowed to enter Canada yesterday. Um, so they're not going to be here for the first session. That gives us more time to, to hear Patrick and Ken talk this morning. 
I'll speak, uh, Abe did just a few hours ago send me some notes and I'm gonna look over those and I'll talk about that situation and, his, and uh, try to talk a little bit from his notes. Um, but in these sessions, this morning, uh, the, the, in the main sessions in the afternoon, we'll have speakers and then we'll have dialogue. And the Rouge Forum is really always focused on trying to, to have dialogue with participants. If you see on the back of one of our, our t-shirts back there, which for a $10 donation, you can walk away with one. Um, uh, our motto is, I participate, you participate, we all participate. And that's kind of the mantra that we use for today. So we will be expecting uh, a two-way conversation. We've organized the day around three questions that are all related to the conference theme, which is a, a version of the AERA theme for this year, which is to know, to know is not enough, um, which I think is a, an interesting um, uh, theme for the American Educational Research Association. Uh, and I think it, it illustrates that uh, AERA has moved uh, a little bit away from this kind of bean counter image. And, but today we wanted to focus specifically on activist scholarship, social change, and the corporate university. And the first question that's generally going to be addressed in, in uh, this session is what might happen when teachers and other academics connect reason to power and power to resistance? Actually, that's a good question to ask with regard to, to a daily on status. But without further ado, what I want to do is, is to introduce today's speakers. Uh, Patrick Shannon is a professor at Penn State University. He's well known for his uh, many books related to literacy education. And Ken Saltman, who's an education policy expert at uh, DePaul University, uh, and has also written a number of books, uh, particularly in critiquing corporate uh, education reform. And so I'm going to turn it over um, to Pat right now and uh, Ken, and then I'll speak to Abe's um, paper a bit, and then we'll open it up for discussion. 